Well, here we are again at the 2014 National Field Days. I don't think this joker needs too much introduction, but Davey Hughes, welcome along. Hey, thanks. It's great to be here. Bloody good. Now, how's it going over at the site there, Dave? There's a lot of rain. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of rain. It's, um, it's a good thing that we're selling raincoats, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I actually think the numbers feel a little bit down, but the people who are coming through, they're really positive, and they're, they're here to spend money, which is great from our, from our perspective. So they stare at you and want to have a yarn? Yeah, I kiss a lot of babies and shake a lot of hands, but hey, that's part of my job, yeah. and if I didn't enjoy it, I'd just go and do something else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, with the, um, with the business, they're 20 years now. Yeah, 20 years this October, man, it's gone by quick, yeah. you know, and I'm not just saying that, it's like, it's just, it's just been flash, and it's like, whoa, what am I going to do for the next 20 years? Yeah, no, it's pretty popular, we, we obviously, ourselves with World TV, we like the stuff, and, and uh, it's not just hunting gear, is it? No, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't realise, but hunting is probably our fourth market, you know, and it comes after corporates and... Obviously, we do a lot with um, with police and large organisations. Farming is, is our second largest market, and then our export market for recreation. That's um, that's our third largest market. And that's the one which is really taken off now and really growing. You know, Europe is going exceptionally well for us. Oh, that's bloody good. It is. Yeah. Now, New Zealand made. You're probably. Is there anyone else that is still? I think, I think there may be one uh, still down in Christchurch, um, FC and Sky, but uh, pretty much everyone else has gone offshore. Um, hey, that, that's, you know, that's their business model, that's what they wanted to do. We put a line in the sand, we said, we want to say New Zealand made for, for these reasons, you know. And for us it was a little bit of social responsibility, but it was a lot about just people, and a lot about you know, their self-esteem, their self-respect, you know, uh, doing a job which they felt really good you know, at going in every day and saying, there's something meaningful and purposeful to my life. Yeah. So that, that for me was a huge thing, you know. It's not... My jacket was inside out the other day and it said it was made by Sarah. Yeah. Oh, she's a handful, Sarah. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she just go around putting her label on everything? <laughs> Uh, she's awesome, eh? Right? She yeah. really is. She's um, she's really cheeky. She's got the devil in her eye. And yeah. you know, I walk into work and people say, "What's your measure of success?" It's when I walk through that door and people are singing. It's like, man, that's your measure of success. Yeah. that's a successful yeah. business, isn't it? Yeah, they're happy. Yeah, happy in their work. They're not underpaid then. Oh, they wouldn't be singing. <sighs> They'll be crying. I'd love to pay them more. Yeah. You know, I really would. But you know, it's a it's a fact of the matter that being a New Zealand manufacturer. You know, it's, it's pretty skin tight sometimes. Yeah. Um, it's always been a challenge. I used to go to work and say, you know, this year will be a challenge. And then it became, you know, this month will be a challenge and now it's daily. But you know, without that challenge, what the hell would you do? I'd rather go into work and be faced with those challenges than uh, a wall of brown boxes that said made in China. Yeah. You know, I love it. I love my job. Yeah. I love the people I work with too. So you're a living man, it's just all in the bin. I, originally I'm Scottish, you know, so, so I, but I became a New Zealander four or five years ago. You can't kick me out. Yeah. Um, you look good with a bloody bagpipes and a, and a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm from the gun clan. Um, but I guess Levin, 20, 24 years maybe we've, we've been there now. So um, I'm a Levinite. Yeah. Is, that, is that like a religion? Yeah, it sounds like one. Oh, damn. Levinite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, and now, the TV show, I saw, saw you the other day there with the possum on your head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. How's yeah. it going with the show? Oh, the show went really well. I mean, it rated top, you know, in, in its demographic, which was fantastic for us. Um, it, was, it was, you know, four years in the making. Yeah. And people have said, you know, when's the next series? It's like, man, you know, four yeah, years of making and editing. And, and it was so much fun doing it. And, and travelling, you know, which is a big part of my life anyway. But being able to, to bring back to New Zealand the footage and show people some of the places I went to. I mean, I, I sort of tended to pop up on that, um, that Border Patrol program, bringing in penis bones and furs and spurs and bits and pieces like that. And people would always say, where do you go? What do you do? It's like, oh, I'll take a camera crew and I'll show you. Yeah. And so it's, it's, been, it's been a hell of a journey, hell of a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I like TV people. Do you not? Do you want to bloody go? <laughs> Uh, uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> I, I haven't won one of those for a few years. And so, you, what's, your, what's your mission with you? Know, you love the hunting and that. You want to get to as many countries as you can and, and different animals. Is that, is that a big thing for you? You know, it's, 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 you know, it's not like I'm a collector. And, and it is about people, but it's also about tastes and flavours. You know, meat. I'm a meat eater. Yeah. You know, I'm actually not a trophy hunter, I'm a meat eater. 
Yeah. And uh, some people like to travel the world and say, oh, now I'm going to try these fine wines. I like to travel the world and say, I wonder what that tastes like. Yeah. So, you try it all out. Yeah, damn right. So you've done your crocodiles in Australia <coughs> and yep. everything. 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 The only thing I haven't eaten is wolf. Wolf? Yeah. Wolf is, smells. Is, it, is that a bit of a common diet somewhere? I haven't met anyone that's eaten a wolf. Yeah. You might be the first. No, I don't think I will. No. No, they stink. Now, poetry. Somebody tells me that you, uh, you got a few poems at <laughs> your sleeve. You better give me one. <laughs> Better give you one. What, what sort of poem would you like? Rom uh, romantic? Oh, sorry, it didn't mean to touch Well, it. romance is that's another topic this week. We've got the young bachelors here. What do you think? What, what, you got any advice for those guys? <coughs> Rural bachelors. Yeah, stay true to yourself, man. You know, find your own passion, bring it out to the fore, let the ladies see it. That's it. Yeah. You know. That's probably good advice. You know, you, a lot of people will probably watch that and give it a go. I hope so. So forget about lines, you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Lines are shit. Be yourself, man. Yeah. 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 You know, people, there's too many cliches out there, eh? Yeah, you're exactly yeah. right. Yeah, it's like I mean, nostalgia, it's a thing of the past. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> now, you thought you were going to get away without a poem, didn't you? Yeah. So you better pull one out of your hat. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of lines from, from an old possum trapping poem, okay? It's called The Secret Lure, and it's, a, it's about a guy that uh, was visited by an old possum trapper who tried to sell him his secret lure. He caught up with me in the car park of the U Puck pub. He was an old bloke, wearing dirty clothes, looked like he'd just crawled out of the scrub. He winked at me once and he quickly glanced from side to side. His hand was in his jacket, something he wanted to hide. I heard you were a trapper, son, and that much I've already seen. Your car smells of possum skins and desperately needs a clean. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody good. Thank you very, very much, Davey. Cool. Did we talk about love and, and we did, didn't we? And, and yeah. passion and, and the things, you know, because love and passion, those are the things I got for New Zealand, man. Yeah. Got to love your country, you know. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't hurt to be staunch from time to time, you know, but also it doesn't hurt to actually feel patriotic from time to time, does it? Yeah. And you're here for good. Absolutely. Good man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. See you soon. Great.